What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and today we're unboxing the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. Our very last Funko box, at least for our subscription now, we'll have to try and get it whenever they sell it at whatever store they're choosing to do the Star Wars box at. Because this is one I still want to get and continue um, getting everything because I like all the Star Wars pops and everything. But let's go ahead and check out what we got in here. So first off, um, looks like we got a luggage tag, which again, we don't need another luggage tag to keep giving these in have no use for them at all but at least it's a cool one it is a pop commander cody so it's exactly like the pop they made which is commander cody and then he's got the little hologram of um the emperor in his hand and so that's exactly how they made the walgreens pop which of course we have up on the shelf there but i really like that design that they did that it's not you know just like his head or something they did the whole thing but as i said it's a luggage tag so it's no use for anything the next up here we have our pin for the month i forgot i don't know if i said it or not but the theme is revenge of the sith i forgot to say that but we have our pin for the month and so again it's the star wars pins that we always got and it's mace windu so you can see mace windu's face right there of course before he dies so that's sad but um so that is our pin for this month then next up we've got another little mystery mini i believe yeah that's what they're called and this time we have it looks like palpatine once he's you know actually turning in evil and everything and so it's him with lightning coming out of his hand and his face getting all messed up and it does say smuggler's bounty exclusive there on the top so here is he is out of the box now and uh, this just looks i real or i was gonna say cool but not really cool but i enjoy it so there we have his face of course as i mentioned as he gets messed up by mace windu um or by shocking mace windu and mace reflecting it back with his lightsaber causes his face to get all wrinkly and weird looking as it is here but then of course he's shooting the lightning out of his hands as we mentioned and it's just like a soft plastic so I didn't expect it to be like that but yeah it's just soft that you can bend and everything but then he's in his outfit that of course he wears while he's seeing uh, Mace Wind and stuff like the red and burgundy colors going on there so that's cool I really like these mystery minis I wish they were like easier to get so you know you don't buy one or buy some and they get like 10 of the exact same character and stuff because I really like these especially the Star Wars ones and so I have a few back here on the desk and so I'll be sticking that with it and I really like these and then it looks like they also threw a patch in there for this month and again it's Revenge of the Sith as it says on the side and it's a half Anakin half Darth Vader face so there we've got Anakin when he's got it looks like the cut on his eye and everything and then of course Darth Vader on the other side as that obviously happens in Revenge of the Sith so that's a cool patch. Then we've got our pop for the month and this of course is a giant one. It is a movie moment and it is when Anakin and Obi-Wan are fighting on Mustafar so we have the evil looking Anakin there. Well of course we'll take it out so you can see it better and then Obi-Wan and so they are on the floating like little platform thing. I assume it's supposed to be um, yeah like the thing the Mustafarians use to like mine the lava and stuff and then there's a lava base underneath and so it looks really cool from the picture at least here on the back of the box stuff so let's go and look at it so here it is out of the box and this looks really cool so go ahead and start with each of the figures so here you can see Anakin there and so he's got yellow eyes so of course they're making him look all nasty and evil so he's got the yellow eyes with the red all around it just like he did in the movie where his eyes were getting all like weird colors and everything and so then of course it's just in his outfit they didn't really uh, the, just besides his scar they didn't do anything else to his face or anything um then he's just in his normal outfit he wore throughout the entire revenge of the sith movie and then of course his blue lightsaber there then we go to obi-wan here and um he's just you know classic looking obi-wan we've got multiple pops of this obviously this is an opposed version of that again with his blue lightsaber then they are on the platform as i said the musafarian uh mining platform thing that they both get jump on at one point and you're fighting with each other and then they're on top of the lava and this looks really cool so on the top it's got a see-through orange that you can kind of see but they made it like all dirty and ashy which kind of fits with the lava and everything like along the sides you can see it looks you know it like i said it looks like dirt and stuff is all over it but then if you look at the bottom it's just you know complete see-through of the orange so i really like that then of course we got the star wars logo there in the front i really like that they had that to all the movie moments and everything so i just really like this and it looks really cool and i enjoy i really like these movie moments i wish they made uh, more um, but ones that were more enjoyable, like I know they did some for The Last Jedi, but I don't really like those too much, but this looks really cool. 
So that's going to be it for this very last Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box by Funko. Again, hopefully whatever store they choose to sell at, at or to continue to sell them at is a store that's going to be easy to get them from. I don't know if they're going to do Hot Topic or FYE. I think Amazon's already got the Marvel one. So hopefully whatever store it is, like I said, it's going to be easy to get, not something that's hard to find and everything, and we can continue to get these. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.